Hey heroes, Jonathan here at Night Knowledge. Welcome to my Wilder Myth series. We're on season four, episode three. And today I have a friend and special guest, Morris, from the channel Games, Games, and Energy Drinks. I saw him streaming Monster Sanctuary on Twitch the other day, and I thought he did a great job with providing life to his characters through his voice acting, and thought you'd enjoy it too. Morris, welcome to the channel. Hey John, how's it? How are you? How's everybody going? How's it going for everyone? Oh my gosh! Um, <laughs> glad to be here. Actually, excited you asked me. I'm kind of kind of interested because this game looks kind of fun. Yeah, it's it's one of my absolute favorite games. So I'm glad that you're you're able to um, you know provide some life to my characters today, and uh, we'll we'll let's just get going. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're uh, so so more, uh, we are in the chase of that droven that I was telling you about, and uh, we have an option of either going, uh, I guess, east to uh, Lanellin Wild, or we can go west to Swift Meadows. What do you think we should do? Oh, I don't know. I feel like uh, Lanellin Wild will be a little faster. It looks a little smaller, so you might be able to get through it a little quicker. I'd, I'd say go east. Okay, let's do it. So we're gonna have the whole team go. Oh, calamities. Okay. Ooh. So, so uh, what happens uh, for, for people's uh, Darnutha channel? Every couple days right here, um, or every 130 days, uh, there will be calamities. So our enemies are getting stronger. We do have some legacy points that we can use to get rid of some of the cards uh, to so that not all of our enemies become stronger. And I'm thinking we're going to remove this card right here. Because because this this is a Droven campaign, we don't we're gonna be facing them the most, and they're gonna be getting the strongest. So I'm gonna remove this card, costing one like one of our four legacy points. Okay, so so all of our enemies over here are getting stronger. Done, and we'll continue. And now we're scouting the area. Oh man. Help. Can help me, Eddie? Yeah, it's uh kinda what we do. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Snapping turtle? Enchanted title. There's no talk. The brains are the size of a thimble. That's oh, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> That's a very personal remark. I'm sorry. As was saying, I'm enchanted title. I'm actually prince. Sure you are. Was enchanted by rival to throne. Curse the shapes. Oh, see now. Kiss set me free. <laughs> Please help. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> So who's going to kiss him? Um, Machu, an enchanted prince, how can we not? Or Kerid, or Preya. Uh, let's have Preya kiss. Oh no, I've heard this line from turtles before. Yeah, my mother warned me about kissing smooth talking, snapping turtles. Better luck next time, a reptile. <laughs> Lord. Okay, so it looks like we can spend a legacy point to make a uh, what's it called? A an outpost here to get additional resources for the future. And I think we're going to go for 
from my memory, I think we need heartwoods and hides more than spell threads. Uh, in, in all my previous games, we've always had a lot of spell threads. And I forget whether we need a lot of heartwood. So I'm going to go with hides. So we're going to have everyone craft it together. Okay, the hunter blind has been established. And now I guess we'll check out Swift Meadows. Okay, cool. so Swift Meadows has been revealed. We're going to assault Crook Forge with everyone. That's that's Priya talking there at the top? Yeah. Hey, Kared, did you wonder, or I mean, how long did you have a thing for me? Oh, baby, there was always that undercurrent of attraction, delicious tension, wasn't there? Only for you. I have like six irons in the fire, you know? When this journey's over, I believe we'll find the romance and permanence, abiding love. Like an ancient river, they say, where's deep its bed. Quieter, you two. You were good and quick. Went all the way up to the ridge? Yeah, saw no one lurking. I still think this place is a little conspicuous. No one's come here. Old road went this way. Said yourself, this is where their trail goes. It's likely part of how they penetrated so deep into people's lands without raising alarm. You do your magic thing on it? Put my awareness a ways down the tunnel, and I can tell it's populated. They move low towards the black entrance. And under the mountain they go. You're doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we have a lot of enemies that we have to face off against. We got storm throats. So they're kind of like ranged uh, guys that use their bird. Uh, we got darts. And uh, we got some of that. And yeah, that'll give me better. I was having a little bit of hard control moving the mouse. Okay. So, uh, we have to kill all the enemies. We have a stump, so he looks like he's a... Uh, he has regeneration, so we have to kill him faster. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see, what are we going to do? Let's have k -Rid start off, initiate the combat with this. He's going to move forward. Oh, there's a ranged guy. We're going to shoot this guy, 83% chance, and he got blocked. Not good. Okay. Uh, Machu, why don't we have you hide behind this? And we're going to interfuse with this barricade. So, uh, Morris, um, mystics or mage users, they um, they put part of their soul into into inanimate objects, and they're able to have special abilities. So, he, uh, so Machu interfused with this barricade, and now he can do barrage, which has five range and does four damage. So, nice, nice. So we're gonna we're gonna hit this guy. Okay, good. Always rely on Machu. Let's see. Now, Preya normally would not be able to reach because they can either move uh, and attack or just uh, move. Uh, and the yellow means that they can go all the way there, but then they won't be able to. They won't be able to act. Okay. But, oh. Got another oh. friend. Uh oh, that was a mistake. Okay, I didn't move him. I think he, she has to be here to be able to attack. So let's guard Aiden. Let's see. I don't think he can attack there either. So let's see. Let's move him up here. Oh, he can't reach this way. So let's let's make him move then. So we used that, and now he's terrified. So he should run instead of attacking us. Okay, so he's good, and we'll guard as well. Ooh. We're going to take lost damage. No, Kraya, don't die. Okay, thank God. Hmm. Okay. 
So let's see. Uh, the guys are so weak. Um, you know what? Match you. Any way that you can get closer. And we'll have him interfuse with these bones. And he'll do a bone lance attack. Uh, three bone lance. And he'll shoot these two guys in a row. Nice. Nice. A good shot, Matthew. Okay, so now Kaerid can come closer and shoot this guy. 100% chance to hit. Beautiful. And then Aiden, he is going to... Let's see, he can't go here. See, as, as you can see, he should be able to attack from range because he has a spear. There we go. Nice. And now what Preya will do is Preya will go right here. Although she's injured, we'll have her guard. So basically that's like overwatch. So if if they come within melee range, which for her is actually two two squares uh, distance, she should be able to uh, hurt him. Oh, here they come. So let's see, Machu. Uh, you know what Machu will actually do? We'll move Machu a little closer. And he has an impro improvised fireball that he'll throw. Oh, nice AoE. Yeah. 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 So let's see. We go here. Kirid, can you kill this guy? Beautiful. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move Aiden in front of Machu. Because I, I think they're all ranged right now. Or sorry, they're, they're, they're all melee. And I'll just move Preya uh, just a little bit closer. Oh, that guy's ranged though. Okay. We'll guard. Let's see what happens. Great. So that's that's the Overwatch in action. Oh, yeah. That guy's range though. Uh oh, uh oh, that's not good. Okay. Oh. So he 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 threw his bird at her, and she yeah. has to shoot it. Otherwise, she's going to take damage next turn. So let's shoot the bird. And let me just take a look at her abilities. Uh, Guardian. Nope. Battle dance. Nope. Okay. I was hoping that she has an ability where she can run and turn on Guardian, but she does not have that ability. So let's see, what should Machu do? Oh, you know what Machu's gonna do? He's gonna interfuse with this fire, and he's gonna fire leash on top of this guy, or... Oh wow, that's like, um, oh, what is that game? It's like Divinity, but you can take it a step further using using the environment at a range. That's yeah. cool. So let's see, Kred, let's, um, you know what? Let's have him attack. 85, beautiful. Okay. And now, Kerid. I'll have him. Let's see, is there any way? Okay, if she moves here. That symbol in the bottom left of his box means that he's flanking. Beautiful. Okay, and Preya, because she's injured, I'm just gonna do that. I think there's guys in this room, so we're gonna position them and get ready so let's see um aiden why don't you run over here and then preya i'll have you run here and kerid over here so they're all intercept actually you know what kerid because he's a hunter he can go silk step which is kind of going into stealth it'll let him avoid damage and we're just gonna wait Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to have Preya open the door. There we go. Revealed. Looks like a, a thief type of guy. What's that? It looks like there's a chasm over there. So let's see. I want to interfuse with... Let's see. We, we have the option of interfusing with this Dwarven or Droven bunk. It deals two damage and one shred, so it'll take his armor off. He has two armor, if you see the, the blue yeah. symbol. Or we can just do straight damage. I think what I want to do is I want to shred his armor. So we're going to splinter blast. Let's see. Oh, and he missed. Ooh. Okay. But maybe Kerid can now attack him. 73% chance. Beautiful. Okay, that's good doesn't look like he can reach he can reach them so we're gonna go over here and guard let's see what he does 
Yeah, he's going to run around. Okay, so now we can just go around the corner. And we'll silk step again. <laughs> Aiden will be around the corner waiting. As will Preya. Come on, get closer. Beautiful. Very nice. Yeah, okay. So let's see. We'll get Kirid to scout. Because there's still some enemies, right? Uh, let's see. Oh, there was somebody hiding. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just move them up. Okay. And Machu, he's slow because of his uh, trunk, his tree trunk legs. <laughs> let's see. Okay, let's get here closer. Nothing's revealed yet. Oh, nothing. Okay. Guard, Preya, go behind Aiden, and Machu, try to catch up. Oh, there's an enemy. I wonder if that's the last enemy. Let's see, Machu. Fingers let's see. crossed. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to do. Let's interfuse with this barricade. And we're going to do a uh, barrage on this guy. Two damage. Okay. It's cowering. No, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, oh. oh, damn it. I pressed the wrong button. I meant for him to move and flank. So let's see. Maybe I'm going to move Aiden here and Preya. Oh, the guard. And Preya. Go here and discard. Let's see what he does. Oh, you jerk. Okay, so let's see. Machu, get closer. We're going to interfuse with a brazier. We're going to steal fire. There we go. And okay, let's do it correctly this time. No. Beautiful. Victory. Great. Okay, so it looks like Aiden leveled up. And uh, we found some gear. So we got an Ember Gown. It's a Mystic Armor Tier 1. So uh, this one gives more warding, which is spell resist. Um, Machu already has Tier 1 Armor. That gives him more armor, and I, that's what I prefer. So we're, we're going to salv salvage it and turn it into additional fabric for later on. So Aiden has grown stronger, and now we get to choose a, a, a perk or a skill. Uh, let's see, Aiden's heightened stance. Ooh, two reactions. So you remember when he was doing that overwatch thing? Vigilance will yeah. give him two overwatch attacks, which is pretty good. Uh, let's see, repost. Aiden will counterattack after a successful melee block or dodge. I don't want that. Can now target multiple enemies. So this is something new with the uh, release of the game uh, we can now upgrade abilities which is really cool but I think we're going to stick with Vigilance. Vigilance has always been a very strong ability oh, He's talking from far away Yeah That's you uh, Yeah no I'm, I'm just They think we have our own war band Kared. They leave these forces to slow us if they simply turned on us all at once, I'm not sure we'd stand a chance. Much chance. It's wild, wilder lands out there. Not many friendly faces. And past Swift Meadows, it's Droven lands. We need to catch them before they reach that far border. I know. I'm the unreasonable one. Hear me out. Going home is fine. We've won. We're going to keep fighting until we lose. Okay, so we got two choices. Um, either Kared says that he wants to finish it, or um, I don't like the idea any more than you, but Dad's my dad, so I guess that's all. Um, so 
I think we should select the one left. Let's 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 okay. keep going. Priya, I don't want to finish this. To follow through, I'm sorry. I hear you, I do, but Virsal, we'd plan to hunt and forage, to mortar our bellies in this wood. The drove in fight exhaustion themselves, harried and perplexed by the dogged pursuit. Wood is low, spirit is low. Draft snack would have. You speaking, stop! Versar will save us! You will walking do! Ooh, okay. At last, what can you tell me? Okay, so because we fought the Droven, they're gonna get stronger now. We can't cancel it. Okay, so we're gonna make a we're gonna secure Crook Forge so that we can get some resources. We're gonna work faster because the calamities and invasions are creeping up on us. Everyone's gonna work. Oh no. And it gives us time to um, restore some health. Crook Forge has been cleaned and put in good order, with time left for a few days' comfort. So we got some ingots. And now we also got a necklace of cunning. So it provides uh, accuracy for both melee and ranged. So let's take a look. Uh, Kerid is Ooh. at 100. Prey is a little bit more accurate. Aiden's even more accurate. And Machu's okay. So I think... We should actually probably give it to Kerid since he's our, our ranged guy. We need him to be more more accurate. And um, more, you'll notice, actually you can't really see it very well, but um, whenever these guys get new gear, you, you actually see it on, on the character. So that's the new necklace that, that, nice. that Kerid has. That's what I like. Okay, so now we're going to make our way to the last place, Bell Wild. Actually, oh, actually we found the place. This is This is where we need to go. So we still have... We have 36 days left. I think we have to just run our way there because we're running out of days. Yeah, we're running out of days. Oh, 13, 10 days, six days, five days. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna assault Pikewood Chimes. So this is the, the end of the chapter. Okay, so we're gonna, I guess, do it. Let's go. We're too close now. They've, they're almost right above us in the ruin. Then it happens today. As a tracker, you're very good. I do what I can. I ask nothing but a kind word and remembrance. If we've truly caught, caught our quarry, then this will be the most dangerous moment. Please seriously consider. I know it feels late, but still, None of you have to go up there with me. Dravisnak, his power over flames is sudden and strong. Hill folks took to calling him Dragon or Old Golden Glare. We called my schoolmaster worse things. Here, don't go in front. Let the strong folks up first. A fortification was once carved halfway up a cliffside where water used to flow. Though its name only lives in the scattered air, its builders breathed. Its command of the territory has made it the site of strife ten times since it fell to ruins. They truly chase us back into the eggs. What could draw such death lust? That's a fun word. <laughs> okay, fight time. So it looks like we have less enemies this time, but remember there's that golden glare guy. Okay, let's see. Oh, looks like, fine. oh, we've got that guy over there. So the question is, do we charge the guy over here or this guy? I think we're, we're gonna run our guys over here. Hmm. Let's see, what are we going to do? Oh, Machu. Machu cannot get out of that. Hmm. I think I'm going to move Machu up. 
and we're going to interfuse with the rocks right behind him. And we're going to do Discus. I think I might... Yeah, I'll just do it now. 80% chance. Okay, good. So now he's cowering. You know what we can do? We could have Aiden. Hopefully Aiden's... How far is his thundering charge? Uh, ra range of 4. So hopefully this works. Aiden will... Nope, he can't do that. Oh no. Okay. Uh, let's see, how far can Preya move? She can move all the way. Uh, we'll go here. And Aiden will, will wall next to her. This... Will, when they're next to each other, they, they gain one damage resist. So hopefully, Kaerid can hit this guy, even though he's cowering and has a buff to, to his, his um, block and dodge. Beautiful. Okay. Let's see what happens. Oh, there's some guys. Harass. Always going after Preya. Okay. Machu, let's run him up uh, right here. See if how far can no, he can't throw his fireball that far. Uh, he's going to interfuse with. Let's see the stump. Let's try this log, and we'll do splinter blast. Ooh, that's a huge AOE. Beautiful. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. Uh, oh, there's no cover now. All the cover is gone. <laughs> Kerid, 86% chance. Beautiful. I'm gonna have eight attack. Okay, and now we're gonna shoo the bird. And then I guess we're gonna guard. Let them come to us. Beautiful. Can't do it twice though. Okay, so. Preya, we got hit back. Aiden, let's see. Okay, great. The guard and Kaerid will move forward, and we will stealth. Machu will lumber his way forward. Okay. So Preya, uh, we'll move you up all the way. Aiden, right next. Oh, wrong person. Aiden, right here. And Kaerid. Oh, there's an enemy. Let's see. He'll probably come around the corner. So let's wait here. Oh, he revealed me. Oh, and he took three damage. It's too much. Let's see, Machu. Let's uh, interfuse with this ruined arch. And he's going to discus him from behind. Beautiful, six damage. When it says stunt, it means he basically critted. Uh, let's see, Aiden. Now we'll move you right here. Guard, Preya. We'll go right here, guard, and Kaerid. Let's walk into this spot, make this turns on the story. Yeah. Drevisnak, the blood can stop. Be brave, Drevisnak. We'll end this the way we should have ended it. You say name of Drevisnak. Does Soft Skull know this name? You speak, Yandrick. Revznak did teachering to me. Kaerid! I see him. Oh, here we go. It was foolish to chase us. Drevznak is dead. Bautus Versal. He is the mighty Deev. Rick Kieran. 
Vesuvian Sarsak Shon Drev Snekin. <laughs> Pointless is talking now. Pointless is you living. Be dead. A bird beast's blasting call seems to jolt even the old stones awake. Then the ruins are alive with scowling droven shapes. Well, friends, I guess it's our turn to run. Uh-oh. Ooh. That was the guy that, that, that killed a lot of us last time. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, now we have to run. Oh. We have to run for it. It takes oh. up four squares, too. Oh, boy. This is bad. Oh. Match you. One. <laughs> Let's see. Provides us one action point. So one action point. Let's see. So we're just going to try to run it. Kared. Kared's going to make it because he can stealth. Let's see. Oh, he can't stealth anymore. Um, Is that on cooldown? Maybe. Um... I wonder if the heroism is going to give us an extra movement point. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's see, can she keep? She can keep moving. So Machu is seriously the slowest. I'm going to move Preya here, and Aiden will have to keep running because he's low on health. Let's see what happens. He's going to shoot us from behind. No, he's not. They just keep tearing up. Uh oh. Okay. Machu, run for your life. Preya, run. Actually, I should have probably kept her next to him. Uh, match our Aiden. Let's run. <laughs> Everyone for themselves. Uh, let's see. I'll do Kared here. And wait. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully they still can't shoot. Oh, that guy's getting close. Okay. So more enemies keep coming. We just gotta get there. Come on. Come on, Matthew. Ambush! <laughs> Come on, Kared. You can do it. Preya. She could, she's a foot away. And then Aiden is way safe. Hmm. Uh-oh. 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 Ooh. Oh. Okay, I think we made it. Okay, Preya, jump in. Let's make sure Machu can get in. Machu just made it. <laughs> Ooh. Victory. Victory. Got some people leveling up. Okay, so we found Brawl Guard. Uh, it is tier 1 warrior armor, which is definitely better than what both our guys have. So I'm going to give it probably to Preya, because uh, she seems to be taking lots of hits. So more armor, more, more chance to crit, and more dodge. Okay, Kerid has grown stronger. Let's see, when standing in via blaze, we can light light our arrows. Ooh, that's pretty good. Kerid has plus two armor and plus one warding. Oh, that's pretty good. Kerid's attacks apply hobbled. Ooh, that's pretty good too. And we can shred. I think we're going to take the ranged attacks can shred armor. Mm, I like that. Yeah, I'm thinking this. Thinking this. This is also pretty good too, but I'm going to go with Oh, because because he already has piercing shots. This is an upgrade, so he'll be he'll be shredding two armor. Prey is stronger. Let's see. Engage. Nope. Ooh, more health. I think that's important. Heck yeah. Uh, let's see. Tinker. Once per combat, Prey gains plus three armor and warding to herself or nearby ally. I think we're gonna get more health because our, our our warriors need way more health. It was miserable misthinking, Trava. 
letting them chase us so long. Your hateful little eyes agree with me. <coughs> Though, I suppose these lessons must be learned for wisdom to grow. The Dravens allows humans escape. Why do? Why do you care? They've killed how many of us? Always better, though vain, to let water flow where it will. Give it room to leave you dry. I would have preferred they believe Drevznak alive, but... Knowing the truth, perhaps they'll subside. Back to their human ways, their corn growing, their musk making, and whatever else. Your name be known. That is good thing I want. Haste. Your loyalty is noted, young warlord. Let us hope it is more helpful than annoying. Now, I don't see any shadows up on the path, but I'm going through the water here and starting southwest. Out of arrow shot, we'll course correct and head southwest. They eat cold food where their aching feet stop. A shrine here seems to promise safe sleep. Dravisnak dead, years wasted, and he's just dead. What I was thinking was, how do you know that the Drav said, how do you know what the Drav said was true? Couldn't they be hiding him from you? The smaller one, called Versal? The way he spoke. Riek Kirin Duvain, Sashak Shon Drevsnakin. You understood that, huh? Roughly, something to the effect of, shut your lizard trap. Seems like you're about to leave again. At least it doesn't surprise me this time. If Drevisnak is truly dead, I need to learn why and, and when and all the details that'll likely matter to no one but me. I need to know what legacy he left and then... This, for Saul, I, I need to know what part of Drevisnak's mind lives in him. Winter is well underway by the time they return to Fisherhome. There's no hero's welcome. No one really knew why they'd left in the first place. Survivors of the burning fairground don't forget it. But who has time to hold up to last year's horrors? Small disasters need attention. There's hens to feed and fences to fix. Life for many folks and many years falls into a peaceful curve. Okay, so that is the Ooh. end of this specific chapter. And uh, based on our performance, we earned some resources on the left and uh, we have earned 10 years of peace. And now it's uh, because we're successful, we were able to weaken some of our enemies. So that has thankfully removed some Droven uh, or a Droven card. Okay. <laughs> During the years of peace, Preya found planting trees to be a relaxing pastime. She returned to her home with a lighter heart, a softened smile. Each day, Aiden swept the path and trimmed back the weeds. Preya couldn't help but ask, why the diligence? We keep the chaos at bay, however we can. We're people. It's what we're born to do. Machu and Preya enjoyed talking about the old days over a campfire. Machu would always exaggerate how many monsters he had slain at each battle, but Preya didn't feel the need to correct him. Kairid and Preya were married soon after they came home. It wasn't long before they were raising a daughter of their own. In those early years, the girl would be raised where Kairid had been, in the lodge home of his family. 
Aiden would always find excuses to visit Crook Forge. His pan wouldn't sit flat. His poker wasn't pokey enough. Whatever the reason, it had absolutely nothing to do with the strikingly beautiful apprentice. Okay, so uh, we're going to end the uh, episode right here. Uh, once again, I'd really love to thank Morris today. He really made this episode really pop. It was really fun having you, uh, Morris. Um, anything yeah. you'd like to say? <laughs> um, First off, thanks for having me. Thanks for thinking about me. I really appreciate uh, you hitting me up, and I hope I can... Uh, I don't know, add a little more liveliness to your episodes. Not that they're not lively at all, because this game is super interesting. Uh, and uh, can I do a shameless plug real quick? Of course, of course, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, my name's Morris. Um, if you're wanting to find me online, I go by plus one eyed sword. Not quite a bastard sword, not quite a great one, but I'm all right. <laughs> um, my channel's uh, Games, Gains, and Energy Drinks. That's on Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all that fun stuff. Just type it in and you should see my buddy and I, uh, Happy Splashes, and I um, doing some like kung fu poses in low res. If that's the case, you found us. So yeah, I like to play a little bit of everything, test out energy drinks, and work out. So yeah, thank you. Thank you, Mars. Uh, so, uh, friends, uh, check the uh, description below, and I'm going to have links for all of those uh, different uh, sources that you can find Morris. And uh, thanks for joining me today, or thank you for joining us today. Uh, check out the rest of my channel for other videos on Wilder Myth, video games, board games, and other fun things. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.